Welcome back everybody. How are you all doing today? My name is Leaf and as always it's awesome to have you guys here for another Planet Zoo Mod Showcase. And yes, it is the second episode of Season 2. We got the big 2-2 going on. And we have a lot of awesome mods as you guys can already see happening today. So we're just going to take our usual route through here and we're going to start checking them out. We're going to start talking about them. We're going to start to rate them. Probably not because all mods are equal in my eyes, but I'm still going to have a lot of fun with it with all of you today. So yeah, first of all, we have the Striped Mongoose and this one is absolutely beautiful. This one's by Giorno Pizza and Mega Game and Rex. Giorno Pizza stepped in and did the code and Mega Game and Rex also did the model texture and some other things on it, but these guys are absolutely adorable. I love them. So they do use the meerkat rig and we actually have two mongoose, mongoose, mongooses, I don't know. Uh, we have two mongoose in here for this week, but yeah, they're absolutely adorable. They're not your typical cute looking meerkats, but if you're into these kinds of guys, you are going to love them. Let's get rid of that tree right there just so we can see them a little bit better. This one is the striped mongoose and you can tell because it has these cute 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 little stripes and i love the little texture work on this guy he is absolutely such a striking little fella i really do love it and i just love this fur oh my god and the little nose is what gets me too it's a cute little pink nose he's just a handsome little fella i just really do like him and i think the female might be in here somewhere as well but i'm not entirely sure oh no our female is not here whoops all right <laughs> So over here, we actually have two mods and we have the Asian small clawed otter by Seth, also known as Roof. And we also have the Jobin Rhino by Narwhaler. So you guys might know that Narwhaler likes to put a lot of time and effort into their mods, but this one over here, it didn't require that much, but it's still a very, very awesome addition to have. So I don't know if you guys have ever played Zoo Tycoon 2 before in the past, but these guys made their beautiful debut in there, and Narwhaler did such an amazing job at bringing them back into Planet Zoo as well. So these guys are only found on the island of Java, if I'm being correct, obviously, because their name is Javan Rhino. They're only found in Indonesia from this little specific place in there, and they are the most endangered rhino in the world currently. We'll see if the Sumatran Rhino can beat them to it. We'll see who gets extinct first. Place your bets, people. But anyways, all that stuff aside, these guys are really awesome to have in the game. They're a little bit beefier from what I can tell from the Indian Rhinos. And I don't know, it's just really awesome to have. I was hoping that they would have their baby, but maybe we can pop by in a little bit soon just to check them out. But for the time being, we have the Asian small clawed otter and Seth. These guys are absolutely adorable. So we did base it off of Nick and Jen's North American river otter. And he included a little bit more Asian small clawed otter variations to the fur and such with it. And it looks absolutely adorable. And I know a lot of people on the forums, they are quite literally biting. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. They're playing with each other. And yeah, you can tell that the uh, Javan Rhino has like no prominent horn on the female and that's kind of like a defining characteristic on them. It's just really cute. But back to this small clawed otter, these guys are really cute. So if you are looking for an Asian otter, definitely do pick these up. All right, so we are going to pop over to more mongoose. So we're going to check out a mongoose and they are absolutely adorable. So these guys are the, I think it's the band, no, it's a dwarf mongoose, my bad. And yeah, these guys are cute. I love their little faces. They look so awkward. I don't know. I'm just a really big fan of them. Look at like all the coloration on them. I hate the noises that they make. Oh my God. But yeah, they are just like the Americans. They can burrow and do everything just like them. I am loving them. So amazing job to both Giorno Pizza and Mega Gaming Rex on them, just making sure that's correct. Yes, it is. But yeah, they're the perfect, like, small African species that we are missing. But we are going to head back to... Oh, we are going to head back over here to the humble penguins. Now, Seth, you are going crazy, my friend. You have added two new mods to the game in a single week. Amazing job. So these guys are the Magellan Magellanic... No. These guys are the Humboldt Penguins. Yes, my apologies. 
And so they have a little bit more of a difference from the African penguin, kind of subtle. But they do have a little bit more pink on the bill and they do have like a few more spots and stuff like that. So yeah, you pretty much nailed it, Seth. You know, I don't, I don't have any complaints. My only thing is you gotta watch out for these little textures. Just make sure that you, you know, have those little like, you know, cleanups that you gotta do on these. And this is only like a personal thing. I think it's this one, yeah. You gotta use the white for this. No, you gotta use the pink for this. You gotta have it match up, bro. But still, nonetheless, it's really awesome to have all these animals in the game. So amazing job to you, Seth. Amazing, amazing work. And so now we are going to take a little trip over to India to visit our sloth bear. Now this one is made by me. Oh my god, can you believe that? Leaf is making more mods. So yeah, this is the beautiful, the regal, the fluffy sloth bear. And these guys are absolutely adorable. And I love, like, I really do love how this came out. They're easily one of my favorite kinds of bears. We have them at Capron Park Zoo and they're so adorable. I love their little, like, dog snouts. I don't know, they're just kind of droopy, kind of like a basset hound, if you could see one. And you also have, like, the fluffy little babies, and I love how well these guys came out. It's just really awesome to have all these. But yeah, this is our last keystone bear species that we are missing, so definitely do check that out if you have not already. And we are going to check out a small little fella over here in our aquatic mods for the week. But first of all, we have the red rumped agouti. This guy is adorable. So me and Nick worked on porting him over from Zoo Tycoon 3. And you know, that game isn't as bad as everyone says. Look at what they gave us. So these guys are absolutely adorable. I love them. I love how well the texture works in this game. It's like, it works a little too well. I'm actually kind of surprised that Zoo Tycoon 3 textures actually hold up this well. Because, I don't know, it just looks really awesome. I didn't even need to do like... You know, I didn't even need to go over to Jen or Bongo and ask them to, like, redo the skin. It looks really amazing as it is. It's on the T-Pier rig, which means, you know, it will have that little bit of a leg deformity. But it was honestly the best approach for this that we could have. And I just love them. They're such an interesting little rodent from South America. And look at their little ears. That's, like, something that I absolutely love about them. They have, like, these little heart-shaped ears. But, yeah. I love them, and yeah, just definitely do check these guys out, I'm really proud of them, they're my little babies. But over here, we have two aquatic mods this week, I know we haven't had many for a quite some time, but we have two new ones and we can see one start to float by right now. Now this is the West Indian Manatee, and pardon the size right now, he's temporarily on the seal rig, just because I wanted to get the coating for him done. Probably tomorrow when I have more time. I just wanted to get this out for you guys as soon as possible. But hopefully he should be out at that time. Oh, he did the flip. Oh my god, he's doing the flip. I love him. But yeah, these guys are ported over from Aurora Designs. As always, I'm working on trying to get all those Marine Mania animals back into the game as soon as possible. But yeah. They're absolutely adorable. They do kind of jolt around like that, but I'll see if there's anything in the FDBs that can kind of prevent that. Just making sure that these animation parameters are being accounted for. But yeah, these guys look stellar in the game, and I love them. And they don't look like the stellar sea cow, I'll tell you that much. Hey! But yeah, also over here is another Aurora Designs port. Now, this is the Leatherback Sea Turtle. And here he goes, he just did a flip, that's awesome. Now these guys are huge, they're absolute units. I gotta give a big shout out to BuffZoo for being able to, you know, work on the FDBs for me when I'm not really able to. He knows all those values so much more than me. And he was able to make this absolute unit look as good as it does today. But yet, yeah, they aren't really found in captivity. I know some people have rescued them in the past, but still it's really awesome to have these kinds of animals in the game whatsoever. And you guys might notice we have some awesome scenery already. So I'm not really sure where to start. Let's start off with the faux rocks. So all these faux rocks, I believe there's about 20 that were done by NDP and they were commissioned by Randy Clark. Now these guys are absolutely beautiful. We're just going to pause it temporarily just to check them out. But yeah, they are expand on the faux rock and faux tree sets already in the game. 
and they have like a very wide variety of uses. They were sketched out originally by Randy and NDP did such an amazing job at bringing them to life and we can already see some mods like, you know, some of the other mods start to make their way through. Uh, definitely let me know which one is your favorite. I'm having a little bit of a hard time to choose between this big tree trunk as well as like, I don't know, probably this smaller tree trunk. This is perfect for like any small exhibit. Maybe it's for like a tree house or something. I don't know. It's just really awesome to have. So also we have the palm tree pack. So Nick is going crazy on the palm trees. Randy commissioned him as well. Just to port some more palm trees into the game. And yeah, these guys are absolutely beautiful. So we have the Kentia Palms. We have, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know them all too much, but they are absolutely beautiful. They work so well in the game. I think these are the Triangle Palms over here. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out which one's which. I know these are the Birds of Paradise and they are so beautiful. And speaking of birds, let's go visit our friend Jojo. Now, Jojo has made his wonderful debut into the modding scene and has given us so many awesome birds. And this one may become irrelevant in the future. This is a mallard duck. I know Bongo is going to release his mallard duck today. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm very excited for that. But I did need to get the recording out as soon as possible. So I will cover that in the next mod showcase. But in the meantime, we're just going to look at these ducks right here. Please excuse me while I adjust my position in my seat but yeah these guys are absolutely adorable and he also has the i forget what kind of this is i think this is a rainbow lord key he has the military macaw question mark and he also has the toucan and yeah these are all such beautiful models i'm so amazed oh yeah african grays as well but yeah he did such an amazing job on these but those aren't the only birds we have this week we also have more toucans. So here's the ones that we can actually get close to. So this is the keel build toucan, I think. We have all the classic varieties that Nick has. And by the way, I do want to show this off. So if we go into the modded tag, and I don't know how to spell. So Nick is including some of these like little icons as well as NDP is as well. He has like these little rock ones as well. I hope he adds some for the mammoth and I hope Nick adds some for the exhibits. But yeah, these are just a great way to determine what's a modded item and what isn't. So I know a lot of people kind of struggle with that. Also, the budgies are so cute. They're some of my favorite birds and it's really awesome to have them in. I'm trying to figure out where the other ones are. Here they are, the yellow ones. And yeah, of course we have like all the flying ones, all like the perched ones, all the wing spread apart ones. And yeah, it's just a really great way to figure out which ones are modded. And he also did one for the um, Parenti pack as well. If you guys remember that, if you don't remember, definitely do check it out because it's awesome. But yeah, he just included all those. So it's really easy to tell the difference between them all. Now, scenery aside, also these are flexi color. They're so amazing. I forget if I mentioned that or not. But let's visit some birds. So Narwhaler, you are doing such an amazing job with the swans. So this is the black neck swan. And look at the baby, it's so cute. But yeah, these guys are perfect for your lakes, for all your water features and whatnot. So Narwhaler made it so that they always stay like swimming in the water. That's just a very important aspect to have. But they will also float in the air if they do come out of there. I believe he also changed the FDBs in a later update, in a later patch that will basically have them go in the water even more. But yeah, do be aware that this is kind of like a fish situation. So it's kind of like a fish out of water situation actually. So definitely do keep that in mind. But we are going to check out easily my favorite of Narwhaler's mods, the Mute Swan. Now, of course, we got to have swans in the game. There was, it was just about time that we had them. And it's really awesome to have some more European animals in the game as well. And Narwhaler definitely does deliver on that. And he does such an amazing job with it. So yeah, we have the mute swan. And it is same. It's like the same situation as the other swan. It is so beautiful in the game though. I have a few in Foxborough already. Hopefully the video should be going out the day after this one comes out. Uh, maybe even tomorrow. I'm not sure. I haven't like sat down to edit yet, but hopefully we can get those in soon. 
But yeah, moving on, we have the Bengal Tiger variants by Nam the Burritos. And these guys are so beautiful. So I know a lot of people like their different tigers. I definitely do. And I love having these different variety of tigers. I remember like um, Pure Winter actually had a few variants back in the day. I think it was Pure Winter. I could be wrong. And look at the cubs too. They're so adorable. But yeah, it's just really awesome to have these guys like in the game as their own species, mind you. So you can have your normal tigers beside like these modded tigers. It's really awesome to have. I'm just very happy with it. And yeah, they have their own Zoopedia and everything. It's really great. And also, I'm kind of like showing this off right now because I didn't have time to put them in the zoo. But yeah, I also redid the unicorn a little bit just ignore that um that's a little bit from before but yeah we have the original zoo tycoon look uh, looks to them and now no they just look very very beautiful so definitely do check those out i'm very proud of them and over here bongo hardwood you just can't leave us alone this is the magpie goose and one of my favorite things that bongo does is he does such an amazing job on the juveniles and they look so beautiful so this is the magpie goose and it's such a beautiful creature so while you have like all your swans and stuff on the outside of the water you can have these guys no while you have the swans on the inside of the water you can have these guys on the outside of the water just to kind of like make that look a lot better make it look like a lot more active scene and these guys are so beautiful so they are based off of the indian peafowl and they do such an amazing job at you know just bringing some more life to like you know, all those bird sections, all the aviaries that you're making in Planet Zoo, I really do love it. So, amazing job, Bongo. Alright, now, we're gonna sit down together here. Have it, good boy. And Mega Game Rex, you guys do such an amazing job. You are like the trifecta. And you guys have graced us with the Persian Leopard. Now, this guy is so beautiful, and I apologize, I wasn't able to find him in the tier list. But you guys make so many leopards, it makes my head spin. <laughs> but yeah, this guy is so beautiful, and they never fail to deliver on such beautiful leopards. And it's really awesome to have, like, a desert-dwelling leopard in the game now. And I don't know, it's just really awesome to have. It's more of like a taiga. Not taiga, but like a temperate grassland and desert animal. And it's from that little region of the world, which, you know, we have a lot of biodiversity in that little part of the world over there, kind of like near Iran, Russia, Georgia, Turkey, yada yada. And I don't know, it's just really awesome to see the spotlight be brought on the animals from over there. So yeah, amazing job on that, guys. They are such beautiful creatures. You know, I really do respect the amount of detail that you're willing to put into these creatures. It's so, so awe-inspiring. And you know what? We're having a little bit of an influx of European mods recently, so this is the Eurasian Brown Bear. And just making sure we did it right, it's by Gaboyan Havoc. And yeah, this guy is beautiful. So these guys are found around like Italy, France, Switzerland, stuff like that. And they are so beautiful. So if you're looking to have like, you know, a different kind of bear in the game, it's really awesome to pick these guys up. It's not like your very different sloth bear or sun bear, but it's something that is just a very subtle difference just to make your zoos a little bit different from the rest and as always it's so awesome to have european representation in the game not that i you know would be the first to advocate for an official european pack but it's just still really awesome to have it in the game and now over here we have a little bit of a new player on the game so you guys might remember the raccoon by plastic fork well plastic fork is coming back to give us a little bit more variety in the terms of North America and I think they may actually be hiding up in the trees hell yeah they are so yeah this is the Bobcat and it is just a little bit of a lynx like creature from North America and they are so so freaking cute I've seen these guys up in Maine before they are so adorable and yeah they can climb up trees and stuff like that I love it they're so adorable so amazing job on that uh, plastic fork I almost called you plastic spoons Whoops, I'm getting my, like, utilities, my kitchen utilities mixed up. But yeah, they're so stellar. And I can't wait to put them in Foxborough Zoo. That's a species I am like, yes, I need you in my zoo. 
But yeah, also over here we have the Santa Cruz Island Fox by Wolfhound. And you guys, Wolfhound is making their debut on the modding scene as well. We are seeing such amazing creators come out of the woodwork. And I have no idea how these creators get so good. When, like, you guys remember my first mods, they really weren't the best. You guys remember my first attempt at the Fox. It wasn't so good. But look at what these people are able to create. So, Wolfhound, you did such an amazing job at this. Look at these guys. So, they are only found around, like, California. If I'm being correct, we're just going to double check in that little Zoopedia over there. The Channel Islands of South California. So, it's kind of like that area. It's a very specific species, but it's so beautiful nonetheless. And, you know, I feel like these niche species are really awesome to have because coming from like Zoo Tycoon 3, we kind of lack those species, you know? So it's really awesome to have them back in the game. But yeah, we have another one of Lofound's mods to check out, not create. They already created it. So this is the Arctic Fox. And I know it's been so long since we've had like an Arctic Fox, like even be attempted. I know Jen started one a while back, but it's really awesome to have one. In the game officially and this one is so beautiful and i'm not really sure how people feel about stylization in their games personally i love stylized mods i think they're fantastic and lofound has this unique style when it comes to mods and i just really really love it these foxes have these beautiful beautiful big eyes and i don't know it's just really awesome to have and i actually have guess what i actually have lofound actually coming back i can say actually one more time actually to redo the red fox mod that everyone seems to want so badly but yeah with that being said keep an eye out for that without further ado though we need to end this little shindig definitely do let me know which one was your favorite mod uh my favorite out of my own mods i gotta say is the red rump to Goody. it is so cute i've already used them a couple of times in my zoos and they're so adorable but let me know what yours what yours what your favorite mod is, you guys, I am just not good at recording videos anymore. I can barely talk anymore, to be quite honest. But yeah, my favorite from this week, from other people, has got to be the Mute Swan. So we'll definitely end it on that. A nice little relaxing, relaxing end to a nice chaotic video. But definitely do check all of these mods out. They're all amazing. But yeah, I can only stay on a video for so long. But thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I apologize once more. I know I've said this in like my past seven videos, but I apologize for not being on track with my videos as much as I was before. Hopefully I'm building up a little bit of a back catalog and hopefully we can get that out to you guys as soon as possible. But yeah, like that is being said, I really do appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of the video. Definitely do check out all these creators. Hey, 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 endorse the mods. I don't even want you guys to subscribe to me today. I want you guys to go endorse every single mod that you've downloaded because it really does help out the mod creators, especially this mute swan. Go endorse that. Give Narwhaler a nice little present. But definitely do check all that stuff out. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll bid my adieu. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.